Welcome, Passion Crew, to 2024. We made it. We made it. Not only did we make it, we, we finished looking amazing. We finished looking confident in our improvement in our physical and spiritual uh, selves. And I'm sure you feel that way because I feel that way about you guys. First and foremost, I want to thank each and every one of you for being a part of the Passion for Fitness crew. Always know you're appreciated because I think I'll say that enough. You should know that as we roll into 2024, I want to remind you to please always feel welcome to give me feedback on anything regarding the classes, the services, um, the gym itself, any type of equipment you think we could use. These type of things make your experience at Passion so much better. And it also helped me stay on point on servicing each and every one of you. I take that to heart and I think my customer service is so, customer service is so important to me. Definitely. You guys give me one more minute or two so we can get into it what i want us to do is be more proactive utilizing the app and the reason being is that i have been to getting to work behind the scenes and start doing things with the app that i think can be much more help me more so keeping you guys accountable for this up and coming year so one thing that's been added is very important that's the main thing i want to talk to you about is the leaderboard so if at this time you have your activity tracker connected to the Passion for Fitness app, your information when you turn it on is coming over and it's coming over just fine. What I have done is put everybody's name in, this, in the challenge called the leaderboard. I'm going to do it every month. So every time you turn that activity tracker on, even if it's you're not here at Passion, but getting a workout in during the weekend, going to the park or what have you, your activity is being feed, fed over to see where you land regarding the leaderboard. Now the leaderboard shows who's doing the most activities or is working out and activities throughout the week. And what I'm gonna do is reward that person who's the leader for each month. So it's a good way to keep you accountable. It also lets you be able to see your face because I'm gonna post the leaderboard pictures periodically to see who's actually leading. And you can get a better idea how you are doing. That being said, and hopefully it'll motivate you too to try to outbeat your teammates in a competitive, uplifting way, of course. But that will be going on. So when you open up your app, you should have seen it by now. It started January the 1st, and you should have got some type of notice saying you have been added to this challenge. However, you did not receive the notice if, you're, if you do not have your activity tracker connected to the Passion app. So the, first, the ones who have not done that yet, let's get together this year before this month is over, basically, and get that done. If you don't have an activity tracker, I want you to invest in one for yourself. This is important because it definitely helps a lot with accountability. And that's the key to seeing prolonged, progressing physical improvement throughout, not just the year, but as a lifetime, as a lifestyle. So let's get that done, okay? So that's definitely one thing. Number two is coming in the first three months. We're gonna have some things going on. First, we're gonna have another volunteer day at the food bank. That's coming but either February or March. You'll get further notice about that. I hope you can join me. The ones who did before, come on back out. And if you have not joined me before, please, please, it's a, it's a quick way to, it's a, not a quick way, a great way to give back to the community and it went in and out and you feel so much better afterwards. OK, and number three, I am looking forward to hopefully you can join me for a time away. It's a field trip in which I'm going to show you where my little hideaway is at. And that's the monastery in Conyers. I would love for you to join me. It's a great way to get reconnected things pull yourself away from the hustle and bustle of life and slow things down and just take some time out for prayer, meditation, and also just get refocused on your spiritual connection with God. I'm sure you all are, but this is a way I do on periodically, especially when I have questions. For, I mean, when I have questions, I would like to ask God. It's a great way to go, a great place to go. And I go there all the time and i would love to share that with you more details about that will be coming out and we currently do have a weight loss and a refocus challenge 
hopefully you're a part of. And if you're not, we will be having another one coming up shortly. And hopefully you can be a part of that. Them are the main things I want to talk about. But also, I want you to take time out before the weekend to take time out to yourself and give yourself kudos, a high five, and just sit for a moment or two and go back over your 2023. I'm one of the people that I don't want to run away from a year because there's so much you should have learned from that year. Show me so many things you should remember, the laughs, um, even the sadness, even the, even the tears, all of that comes together to make you be ready for 2024. But that being said, you handled that last year. Now this year, I want you to get excited about pushing yourself a little bit further, not just physically, but mentally and spiritually to get yourself where you need to be well-equipped for this year and what's in store. Because baby, oh yes, baby, it's going to be a lot in store. So I want you to be ready for it. Get that mindset that this year you get equipped to be ready for this year and you'll do it. Leave you guys with that and you know. God bless. Bye-bye.